This is Dan Tortora here with Clay Gagan, Sherman, the head coach of the men's basketball team for Brian and Stratton College of Syracuse for the Bobcats here. And in, in this edition of the Bobcat Buzz, uh, a tough game against yeah. Brian and Stratton of Buffalo. Just right. your initial thoughts. Um, they're, they're a very good team. Uh, they came out shooting lights out. Uh, their senior, I believe he's a senior shooting guard, he scored 33 tonight, he had 20 in the first half. He just hit a lot of tough shots. Our guys competed, um, but they got going, they got great rhythm, and, you know, we struggled a little bit against that. And, um, you know, the good thing is we get to see them a couple more times this season. So just got to adjust, and we got a game tomorrow, so we got to bounce back. You had a, a few runs in the second half to try and shorten this thing. Was it right. just, did it feel insurmountable because of the way the first half went? They definitely, I mean, they definitely had a lot of momentum. Um, I think we cut it to 12 or 13 a couple of times, and then they came back and hit a big three, um, which, you know, part of our run was going zone um, to kind of throw them out of that rhythm they had. Um, but then they hit the big shot. So, you know, uh, it was definitely tough. They were playing well tonight. So uh, just got to bounce back. That's it. Their full court press and, and trap defense, just what you can say about how your team played through that. Um, we, you know, we played all right. It definitely disrupted our offensive game. You know, it dictated what we were doing on the offensive side. Once we broke the press, we weren't really organized and able to run our stuff as effectively as we wanted. Um, so, you know, the, kudos to them. Great defensive plan. Um, you know, we just got to, you know, make sure we can attack that a little more efficiently next time so we get some layups out of it instead of just getting it across half. Um, it, so it's something to work on. It seemed like they were giving you the lane a lot, and if you wanted to take it inside that there was opportunities there. Did you kind of reflect back on this and wish that the team maybe forced a little more inside? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I think we settled from, for uh, some corner threes when we definitely weren't hitting shots the way we can today. Um, so yeah, we gotta we gotta attack the rim against the press and not settle for uh, three point shots. You look at these uh, first few games here, and when you kind of put it all together, the adversity of being right at that equator line of being a little bit above five hundred and whatnot. Just how you take how the season started up to this point. Um, it's been it's been a bit of a roller coaster ride. You know, some close game losses. Um, you know, a big loss against Point Park, and then another big loss today. Uh, but we've had some good games, so we've got to kind of go back, watch that tape, build build momentum off those games, build rhythm off those games, and we got three games to close out the semester. Um, like I said, we bounce back tomorrow against Fisher, who's a solid ball club. Um, then we got our away trip to New York City to close it out. So, um, you know, it, it's there's been a lot of good, a lot of bad. Usually that's how it goes. It's about getting better, so hopefully we can do that tomorrow. Leadership-wise, would this be in your first season as the men's basketball head coach, what have you learn about yourself up to this point? Um, you know, I think I always say this, but it's definitely, you know, well, this is my sixth year of college, sixth year of college co coaching, and I just got to get better. Got to get better for my guys, got to be ready for those situations so um, we can make the adjustments we need to be in better um, situations to win ball games. And then a final note, the leadership that you're seeing on the floor, who are some of those guys that you feel like have been the vocal guys or the action guys that you can lean on a little bit? Yeah, I mean, vocal wise, we got to step up. We don't, we don't have it. Um, you know, we're, we're we're too quiet as a team. Um, you know, Darren Joyner, number four, our point guard, has been extremely consistent for us this season um, on both sides of the basketball. Anton uh, Berger, he's a freshman guard. He had a big game. He had 30 for us tonight. Um, he helped us. He was one of the guys that was really able to attack that pressure. Um, you know, so so those two guys have done a good job for us this season. But we definitely need to have some vocal leadership step up and kind of pull our guys in and get us focused and, you know, help us fight through adversity a little bit more effectively.